transit service in, in Connecticut and Hartford uh, in general is, is underfunded. The service reflects the fact that they're doing as much as they can with uh, a, a, a legacy of, of being underfunded, serving populations that uh, are dependent on transit service and, and where possible reaching out to choice riders. We have been um, very active in the past to increase state investment in, uh, in bus transit service. Uh, we have been in the past few years playing a lot of defense so that we don't see cuts. And we're very thrilled that the CT Fast Track, which is the first bus to rapid transit system in Connecticut is here, because it offers so much to the residents, not only between New Britain and Hartford, but in the region and statewide. The general manager of CT Transit has noted a few times that uh, the, the, the structure of Hartford's transit system hasn't changed much in the last century. That is still tied very much to the trolley network that existed there 100 years ago. What you see out there today is primarily a bare bones service. It gets the job done, but there's a lot more that could be done to promote increased usage, to promote denser development around stations. And I think there's a large community within the state that wants to see that happen. It's a matter of making transit a priority in capital investment, providing new operating budgets, and that sort of thing. CT Fast Track system is a bus rapid transit system. Bus rapid transit is characterized by some simple features such as stations that are very much like railway stations. The buses usually have their own roads that are dedicated or they have um, HOV lanes. It's also a proof of payment system which means that similar to a subway, people should be paying before they get on the bus so that they can just board when the bus gets here. In a way it's good that it's happening now because of the technology whether it be because of the smartphone technology, the internet technology, the GPS technology, the signs that are telling us when the bus is arriving, when they're departing. Everything is GPS based to update the traveler and let them know when things are coming or buses are going. The system starts at 4 a.m. and the last bus is out are between 12, 15 and 12.45, depending on where you're coming from. So it's about a 20 hour span of service. During peak periods during the week, you have buses every four or five minutes for the 101 and 102 services. It goes through a lot of communities. Some people think of it as 9.4 miles. 9.4 miles is a dedicated road portion. It's the trunk portion that we use to speed up travel, but in reality, um, we connect this dedicated road portion to many other areas. So the actual towns and the buses travel through are Hartford, West Hartford, New Britain, Newington where there's a direct connection, but we also have our, our express routes that go on to Bristol, Southington, Cheshire, and Waterbury as well. I'm looking forward to the time when, you know, next year when he's not in high school anymore and I can just uh, ride my bike down, roll it right on and take it right in. didn't really have to wait at all to jump on the 101. I uh, got into Hartford in like 18 minutes. It was really awesome. And uh, I'm probably going to do this every single day this week. <laughs> probably if I use it, it'll be weekend traveling. Um, so I want to see how close all the stops are to places that I might visit. And if they're close enough, then I probably would use it. Um, my uh, one of my staff people told me that it's only 54 bucks a month for her pass, and I pay 200 a month to park downtown. So for students looking for a good deal, this is the way to go. Newington Junction this, uh, to Station this morning, Connection uh, watched, uh, Route uh, my Six phone and the uh, traffic congestion uh, on the uh, on 84 that I was going past, and uh, it was a wonderful ride. Today I decided to check out the multi-use trail with my bike. So I took it from downtown Hartford to Newington Junction and then did the multi-use trail to New Britain, the park, and then back. And I thought it was great. It was really exciting. Um, there's not a lot of really good bike infrastructure in the area. So to have a dedicated trail was really, really nice riding experience. Like a little vacation. Modern. Awesome. It's fun. It's, it's great. It's I'm fun. excited that it's that it's finally open. It's just awesome. It was terrific. Actually it was relaxing. <laughs>